All right, it's time for some nebulae, diffuse nebulae. We're going to try four right now. So it's going to shoot them all with um, Takahashi Milan 250 telescope uh, set going at f92, magnification about 90x. And for these, the sequence, we're going to use uh, an L3 unfilmed Gen 3 P43 phosphor image intensifier and a Sony Alpha 7S camera connected to the intensifier with 1x relay. Settings on the camera are 1 30th of a second shutter ISO is 4000 for the moment. So what we've got here first up is uh, M8, also known as the Lagoon Nebula in Sagittarius. You can see the dark, wavy lagoon of dark water, maybe. Kind of meandering across the field of view from left to right. Bit of a S shape to it maybe slightly and then kind of off to the upper right of center is the brightest portion where that would be the star forming region I imagine and the lagoon nebula. Oh, we're also using a narrowband H alpha filter here to bring out uh, the contrast so that would be an astronomic 12 nanometer H alpha filter in this case. So uh, that's the lagoon looking kind of pretty like pretty bright nebula. It's uh, just about on the meridian, maybe 45 minutes away from it. <laughs> Big guy at 90x. Let's try its nearby neighbor, which is M20. Go there now. Right here, a little bit dimmer. Somewhat interesting though, it's got uh, a number of dark lanes going through it. Some would say three, hence the word trifid, so it's called the trifid nebula. Although we might say there's four. I'm trying to get this thing centered, but you got a couple of close together stars near the center. And then the dark lanes of the trifid nebula. And essentially real time through an L3 unfilmed image intensifier and a 1x relay lens. Not too bad looking, definite structure. I count one, two, three, uh, I'd say four lanes going through parts of X and X, left half of an X, right half of an X, and then this uh, dark thing connecting them. But that's the Trifid M20 in Sagittarius. Let's move further up from the horizon to um, M17, which we'll go to now. Something like a go-to drive. There you are, okay. I like this one a lot. It's called a swan. I like to call it the half lobster, because to me it looks like a half lobster. Tail in the lower left, head upper right, one claw, lower, well, sort of the right side claw, but no left side claw, so a half lobster to me. Good structure in that guy. Shows it pretty cleanly in this, with this narrowband H alpha filter at f9.2. Definitely can make it out, right? Probably a little better than without night vision device. A lot better, I would imagine. See, final target will be the dimmest of them all. That'll be, oops, I gotta get this thing going. M16, the Eagle Nebula in, uh, God, what's this called? Serpens, okay, there it is. Uh, what can you see? Well, the pillars, of creation are actually kind of in the center of the field of view. I'm trying to get it. They're pointing somewhat upward, say at the one o'clock position. That's the direction they're pointing. You can make out one of them, maybe. If I up the ISO from 4,000 to 5,000. Let's see if they show better. It's 4,000, 5,000. I don't know. It's 6,400. Go back to five. Back to four, even lower, 3200. Eh, they sort of slightly show. But that's um, 16, the Eagle Nebula, which looks kind of not so great, but hey, it's, there's something there. All right, four diffuse nebula in various constellations. Summer Nebula, we'll call that a wrap and take some stills.